Hello, today I'm doing a free example session of how you can do easy Zen doodles so you can join in with my Christmas making class. You need to get together a bit of paper, a pencil, two black pens, one fine liner and one slightly thicker. We're going to experiment with different mark making, different patterns and we're going to have a mindful time. So get the stuff together, pause the video and I'll see you in a minute to begin the demonstration. These squares. Just in pencil to begin with. Going to go on to use pen on our patterns because part of the Zen Doodle process is learning to own your mistakes and to to manage to uh, sort them out. We use pen so that they're there and unerasable. Okay. Just organising my bits a bit. Here is a Zen Doodle that I've done previously. You can see there, there is a couple of little errors, but you know, you just deal with them. So get your pen. I'm going to start with my fine liner. And I'm going to begin by drawing small oval shapes. Just here and there in the square, there's no right or wrong with this. And I'm doing this with my fine liner. I'm filling them in with little wiggles. The beauty of this process is there is no right or wrong. You are just playing. But you do get into the zone and you get quite focused on it and it's a good thing to do, I think. Okay, I'm getting my thicker pen now and I'm gonna make some black splodges all around the background. Just haphazardly here and there. When I'm doing this, I like to have a little bit of um, incense burning, nice music playing and just relax into it. Let everything else go away, just... You're not really meditating, but it is quite a meditative process, I believe. I believe any art is. And this is some art that you can just do anywhere, anytime, any place, and you need hardly anything to do it. It's good. Right, I'm filling in around my dots with tiny little black just dabs really with my thicker brush uh, pen just to fill in all of the space so just little black dots just spend this time enjoying the process let yourself go enjoy the texture of the paper and the feel of the pen and just be free. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but I'm doing these as examples so you can get into the hang of it and you can go on to develop your own patterns. I 
I'm going to leave that one there and move on to my second square now. That one's quite a round pattern, so I'm going to try and be a little bit more structured with this pattern. I'm going to do straight lines parallel with each other and I'm going to leave little gaps for them to interlink. Actually, the way I'm doing this today, you don't need to do the little gaps because I'm going to overlap it with just one thick stripe. So you don't need to have done the little gaps, but quite a good idea to do them because in the future, if you want to do an interlinking pattern, it's quite a good thing to do. So just anyway, just have a play, guys. Doesn't matter. I've got my thick pen now and I'm interlinking them with the thicker pen. Now these are two quite different patterns, which is good. I think it's good to have a bit of variety in the different patterns. So when we come to do our picture for the Christmas cards, the patterns are all going to be interlinking, whether that's on a bauble or a um, Christmas tree or whatever we're doing. The pattern's going to be interlinking, but quite good to have different patterns. It makes it really stand out and look a little bit more interesting. For the Christmas cards, you can either do it in the traditional way, which is the black pen on white paper, or I'm going to experiment with doing it on coloured card and silver and gold pens. So for the Christmas card sessions, you will need coloured card and silver and gold pens. If you want, so just do it in black and white. I'm putting little thin lines in between just so we've got a little bit more going on in this pattern. Yes, it says that here that Zen tangling is a form of mindfulness. I like to think of tangling as a form of creative aimlessness. That's from a Zen master who says we observe that we need to cultivate aimlessness in life rather than continually striving to be number one. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I want you to fill in the last square on your own, create your own pattern, um, play around with it. It can be anything you want. 
and just get yourselves ready for the um, the Christmas card making if you're going to join me starting on Tuesday and I'm going to be doing it twice a week for the next two weeks so Tuesday and Thursday I think this week and Monday and Wednesday next week um, please join me it'll be fun and we'll be um, exploring Zen doodling in depth okay guys see you soon <laughs>